Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial of creating process and today we will be designing on the logo design. The design has got a block effect which has been extruded inside a square. The square has got rounded corner and nice shadow. So to design this logo, we will first use the rectangle tool and create out the basic shape. Then with the help of shape tool, we will extract out these unwanted pieces. Then we will extrude it using the 3D extrude bevel option. So let's begin the tutorial. I'll uh, use your tank to anchor a square of uh, width and height around 200 points and click OK. Now once you have created that, uh, we'll change the stroke uh, fill to stroke uh, color like that and remove the fill color. Now go to stroke, uh, align the stroke to inside and let's increase the stroke thickness to around 40. Let's check it out. OK. Now I'll place it here. And next thing is, I'll just uh, draw one more line segment. So from the middle here, intersection, just click and drag and create on the line segment here like that. And to create this shape, what I'll do is I'll duplicate this, Control C, Control F. And what I'll do is object path outline stroke and rotate it with a shift press to 90 degree and place it here. Uh, overall, select everything and go to path and convert everything into outline stroke now duplicate this and I'll just place it here and rotate it to 90 degree angle and one placing it around here and under around here like that just place it aligned to that shape and duplicate it one more control C control that and place it along here and let's extend this now select everything and if you see you can see all the divisions here now with the help of shape builder tool select a color from here any color and play this one object make this one object this one one object and this one separate object now once you get that we'll create one more square so I'll just click and drag and create a square like this and fill that up with certain different color like gray and what I'll do is arrange center back select that this 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 and just drag it out somewhere here and select everything rest and delete it out now place this here and let's do the next stuff i'll just arrange it to front here and now let's do the interesting stuff so this i have to select everything all these pieces except that square and go to pathfinder and combine it and this will make that one object now select both the object go to effect 3d extra bevel option here we'll do the adjustment so we need this angle so let's play around with the angle just preview it you can see that let's give that angle like that let's rotate a few more and we need that Oops. we need to see the top surface like that and let's rotate it like this this angle let's see okay approximately this is good click ok now let's do the individual adjustment. So I'll select that square, go to that uh, 3D extreme bevel option. So I'll go to appearance and that option is up here. Click on that. Now let's do the adjustments. So I'll just remove the extrude depth to zero and click OK. In the same way, I'll just make it zero and click OK. Now if we check it out, we got that. Now I'll just do is I'll just make sure it is placed according to that. So we have to make sure this shape is aligned to that square. Now let's see. Uh, okay, I think the depth is nice. Everything is nice. Let's play around with the perspective. So select this, go inside that, preview it and let's increase the perspective to 50 and check it out. Okay, this is good. Uh, this one also, we can just go in there and Let's make it 50 degree perspective. Check it out. It's aligned, automatically aligned. Now let's do select all these. Go to object, expand appearance, object, expand. So this will convert that everything into object forms, separate object forms. First of all, ungroup everything. Now select these pieces, the top pieces. Now the shape builder tool just separate these out and delete that so ungroup it and just select delete so we got these pieces now let's fill it up with the color so we got all these color palettes so like this this and this and i'll fill that up with this dark color 
like that okay that's good now if you check it out it's looking nice and great we'll do little adjustments here because uh, it's not aligned so with the die selection tool we'll do the adjustments so, so go in there select that piece just go there and just, just play around with all these vertices and you'll get a great design now once you have done that if you check it out it's done let's uh, make this go so to do that i'll just use the die selection tool select this point and just you'll see that's the right round circle just click and drag it and you create that nice round effect this feature is available in adobe illustrator cc uh, so you can use that but if you're using the previous version you have to go in there and tweak the vertices now let's create that shadow so i'll use the ellipse tool and create out a circle here like that and i'll just apply this color so with the eye picker with the shift and all press just click that and g for gradient bring it to the center uh we'll just rotate it just make it from that center and squeeze this like that and if you check it out it's looking great now let's see let's place it we can just extend this a little bit and place it in the proper place arrange uh send backward control open square bracket it will send it to backward like that now okay everything is great you can do little adjustments here so with the gradient tool selected just do the adjustments you want some dark like that do that now finally let's add up the text so t b l o c k block and the font which i am using here is pro i don't know which language is that but this font was looking great so i use that uh we'll reduce the font size to around 12 and go to character and give some uh, gap between the alphabets around 550 okay and just place it according to the alignment like that and if you check it out we have completed our logo we have completed another very interesting design in a very unique and very uh, fast way i hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button thank you